check this one out. We have a parabola. This one is squared, the y is not, and we have a line. Now we have a lot of things we could do. I'm going to go about this one a little bit differently. Um, in the past, we have had y equals something and y equals something, and we would set those two things equal to each other. In this case, we don't have y equals something and y equals something. This one is not structured that way. Easily could go that way. We could move this 2x over. We'd be fine. However, I have a different idea, and you probably do too. Why don't we take this, all of this, this whole, the entire right side of this equation, this expression here, x squared plus 3x minus 12. That is equal to y. We're going to plug it in the place of y. Right there. It's going to be that simple. So let's switch colors. Switch to blue. And so we'll have 2x plus all that stuff, x squared plus 3x minus 12. And that's equal to 24. OK, anytime you have a parabola, let me rephrase that. Anytime you have a quadratic, the best way, not always, but it's going to work this time. One of the best ways to solve is to move everything to one side and factor. They don't all factor, which is why we don't always do that, but it's always a good first guess. So what we should do is try to move everything over to one side and then factor. So we have x squared on this side. We have 2x and 3x. That's going to make 5x. And then we have 24. We're going to subtract 24. It's on the right side. It needs to be on the left. It needs to join everybody else. So minus 36 equals 0. OK. Let's factor. This, this should look a little familiar. OK, I need two numbers that multiply to give, well, let's not get too far ahead. x squared is x times x. Here's the deal. I need two binomials here. Now, uh, there's a whole lesson, two whole lessons devoted to factoring later. And they are somewhat of a review. But in the meantime, let's just quickly review. If I had a binomial times a binomial, I should get this. x times x would give me x squared. I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 36. And uh, I'm going to list some options over here. Maybe you learned it this way. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Negative 36. I need two things that multiply to give me 36. Your first guess might be 6 times 6. I don't disagree with you, but in order to multiply and get a negative, somebody has to be negative. All right? And we also need to consider maybe uh, 12 times 3. Oh, but wait, somebody better be negative. And that could be it, or maybe, 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 it was 12 times negative 3. OK, well, let's explore some other options. Uh, 2 times 18. 2 times 18, somebody better be negative. There's that. Slide up a little bit here. Um, there is uh, 1 times 36. I'm dragging this out even further. You probably already know the answer. <laughs> 1 times 36. You're like, come on, get on with it. <laughs> 1 times negative 36. Oh, is that all my options? No, it's not. Uh, it's going to be 9 times 4. Or 9 times 4. <laughs> there we go. Put some negatives in there. And I want to be able to multiply to get negative 36, which all of these do. However, I want to be able to add and get a positive 5, which I'm going to explore right now with a, with a white pen that you can't see. Let's use yellow, which is still hard to see, but we'll deal with it. Negative 6 plus 6, that's going to give me 0. That's not what I want. Sorry, it's not. Is that showing up? Nope, not a bit. Not well at all. Let's uh, switch to purple. So if you add those, you'd get 0. I don't want 0. Negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9. 12 plus negative 3 is positive 9. Okay, again, I'm aiming for a 5. If you don't know why I'm aiming for a 5, you'll see it in a minute. If this is a review for you and you're like, man, I got this. Just, you know, skip a bit. Negative 2 plus 18 is 16. That's not a 5. I'm looking for a 5. 2 plus negative 18 is negative 16. That's not a 5. I'm looking for 5. Negative 1 plus 36 is 35. 1 plus negative 36 is negative 35. That's negative 5. That's positive 5. That's the last one. OK, here's what that means. 9 plus negative 4 is 5. That's great. Let's go back over here for a second. So I'm dealing with a positive 9 and a negative 4. OK, good to know. Well, if I'm dealing with a positive 9 and a negative 4, and let's, let's stop right here and let's not lose sight of what we're doing. We're solving a system of equations. We have a parabola, we have a line. I'm wanting to know where they meet. And again, feel free to graph, but then we would be losing out on a lot of the, the process that we would be working through in order to really review, which includes factoring. So, you know, don't have to write this part, just want to doodle for just a moment and prove what just happened. x times x, multiply that, you'd get x squared. x times negative 4 would be negative 4x. 9 times x is 9x. 
9 times negative 4 is negative 36. And these two terms together make 5x. Lucky us. And so what we just did was factor this trinomial into two binomials. And uh, we got that right there. So all that stuff that I just wrote in red, it was just a good way to check it. Here's what's really going on. I've got to solve for x. Got to be patient. There we go. I've got to solve for x. If we have a factor times another factor and it equals 0, then somebody equals 0, somebody, somewhere. One more time. Let me write it. I've written this in another video. If a times b equals 0, then either a equals 0 or b equals 0. And I may have done it in a video that is after this one. So, you know, if you're like, well, he hasn't shown me that yet. Well, now you've seen it. And you'll see it again later. X plus 9 equals 0, or X minus 4 equals 0, which means I can solve both of these. Let's subtract 9 from both sides. X equals negative 9. Good to know. We're going to add 4 to both sides here. X equals positive 4. Okay, we have two solutions, it looks like. Two solutions in my solutions, I don't just mean, oh, x equals negative 9 and x equals 4. These are coordinates. Don't lose sight of the big idea of what we're doing. We are solving this system of equations. Whew, there it is. Solving that. Well, that, and I'm going to go ahead and put the answer way up here. That has solutions of, let's put it in purple, negative 9, you better work, negative 9 comma something, and positive 4 comma something. And I didn't just make that up. It came from right down here. All right. So I've got to find out what that something is. Those are the x values. I've got to find the y values that go with it. You want the easy way or the hard way? I knew what you'd say. You want the hard way. Drop and give me 20. Um, what I could do is plug these values in for x right here. It's already solved for y. But it's quadratic. I mean, that's not painful. But it's just you know mildly uncomfortable when there is an easier way. So what I could, you better, you better cooperate, little board. <laughs> All right, what I could do is solve this one for y. I could have done that from the very beginning. y equals negative 2x plus 24. That takes this 2x, moves it to the other side. And now I have something a little bit easier to deal with. Instead of like, oh, i got to square this and then add 3 times that, minus 12. It works. It's fine. It's fun. Do it for fun. But right now, what I'm going to do instead is negative 2 times my x plus 24. Switch colors again. Negative 2 times x, and there's my x value right there, plus 24. And whatever I get right there, it's going to go right there. So negative 2 times my x value, plus 24. Whatever I get, it's going to go right there. Let's figure it out. All right. Negative 2 times negative 9, that would be 18. 18 plus 24 is 42. Yeah. Boy, I sure hope so. I'm going to be embarrassed if it's not 18, 24. Yep. Uh-huh. That's it. And then that's going to be negative 8 plus 24. That's 16. So I have two coordinates. Negative 9, 42, and 4, 16. Let's check and make sure we're right. Let me check and make sure I'm right before I go on to the other. Yep. Okay. Here we go. All right, here it is. Kind of hard to see. Purple parabola, the black line. 416, okay. Now, a lot of times we're tempted to be like, oh, there's one. You better show up now, son. Oh, it's not showing up now. Anyway, there it was, the point of intersection. But we'd also look at that sometimes, and we'll say, oh, 0, 24. No, 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 no. We're looking for points of intersection. Desmos has this really cool thing it does where it, it points out all these other features, like, oh, look, we have uh, an x-intercept, y-intercept. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for places where the lines intersect, which would be there, 416, not there. And also here, which is negative 9, 42. And I remove my finger, it'll probably go away. Negative 942, so it was correct.